Hello everyone, this is Tim from Cleveland Baseball Fan 879, and this is game number 126 of the 2007 Cleveland Indians Stratomatic Mostly Advanced Replay. Uh, this is the final game of a three-game series. This will be a full game play between the Cleveland Indians and Detroit Tigers. And taking the mound for the uh, Tigers is Nate Robertson, and taking the mound for the Indians is Jake Westbrook. Westbrook's simulation stats on the season are he is 6-6 six and six and in 90, 93 innings pitched. Has allowed 48 earned runs, walked 30, struck out 60, and has a 4.65 ERA. And I will be doing replay and real stats here. Uh, on the real season, he was four and seven with a hundred and third and one third innings pitched, uh, allowed fifty three earned runs, which is a little bit more. Walked thirty seven more and fifty five strikeouts, so he struck out more, and his ERA is only a tenth less, so right about dead on. All right, and just to give you a, a division race recap here uh, going into the start of play today. Uh, we'll start with the senior circuit. The Braves have a 10-game lead on the Braves. Mets are 75 and 50. The Braves are 66 and 61. The Cubs are in the lead in the uh, NL Central by 11 and a half over the Reds. Cubs are 76 and 49. Reds are 65 and 61. And the Dodgers have a nine-game lead on the Diamondbacks. The Dodgers are 73 and 53. The Diamondbacks are 64 and 64. The Braves hold the wild card lead by a half game over the Reds, which probably didn't happen in real life, but meh. All right. The American League is always as always has been much closer. Uh, in the East, the Red Sox have a two and a half game lead over the Blue Jays. Red Sox 77 and 50. Blue Jays 74 and 52. Uh, the Twins have a four and a half game lead on the Indians. Twins are at an even 63 and 63. The Indians, of course, being 58 and 67. And the Mariners have a three game lead by virtue of the snow outs in Cleveland and other probably maladies. Uh, Mariners have a 65 and 59 record, and the A's have a 64 and 64 record. So there is your division races. Also, for today's game, I will be giving. Um, the real and replay stats. So this may take a little longer, but you'll have to bear with me. Although I do, do know that Replay Gamer seems to like uh, having the uh, real and replay uh, at the same time. And I'm going to take a quick time out, set up the lineup on the computer, and we'll be right back after this. All right, and we'll go ahead and give you the lineups here for the Indians. All right, for the Indians. Uh, leading off, playing center field, Grady Sizemore. Batting second and playing third base, Casey Blake. Batting third, the, desi uh, the catcher, Victor Martinez. Batting fourth, the cleanup hitter, the designated hitter, the, the one, the only, the underperforming, Travis Hafner. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Ryan Garko. Batting sixth, the shortstop, Johnny Peralta. Batting seventh, the right fielder, Franklin Gutierrez. Batting eighth in left field, uh, Jason Michaels, and batting ninth and playing second base is Chris Gomez. All right, and Grady Sizemore leading off in the replay, batting 266, 13 homers, 47 RBIs. He does have 32 stolen bases. In the replay, in the real season, he was batting 270. This is through uh, game 125, of course. Uh, batting 275 with 21 homers, 68 RBIs, 29 stolen bases. Uh, Sizemore has 132 hits on the season, and in the real season, he had 137. So, all right, so here's Robertson. And a shortstop X, but a 17 will be in range for, actually, would that be in range for Ramon Santiago? He is a four. Everything south of the range line, the southern half of the range line, he will make the play. And retire Sizemore. And that'll bring up Casey Blake. Casey on the season, on the replay, 252 average, 13 homers, 
54 RBIs on the real season. He was batting 264 with 15 homers and 59 RBIs. And here's the pitch to Blake. Two, eight, and all those hits in column two. And he hit, gets the ground ball to short. So Ramon Santiago having a busy half of the first inning. And here's Victor Martinez. Victor on the season. Is hitting 306 with 30 homers and 95 RBIs. He is easily outperforming his real uh, stats. 306, 301 on the real, real season, 18 homers, 87 RBIs. Uh, for those that didn't catch the recap in the last game, last three games, he's hit home runs in each of them. Uh, and uh, has eight RBIs. So here's the pitch to Victor. And a 5-4 is the center field. And if that's in range for Granderson, he will make the play. And it is, and he does. So one, two, three inning for Nate Robertson. And we go to the bottom of the first. The Indians nothing, and the Tigers coming to bat. All right, here's Granderson. And Granderson rips one into over the center fielder's head and bounds away and on to third with a leadoff triple. That's wow. All right, um, they're gonna play back. It's still the first inning, but there's Placido Polanco, second baseman. Oh, forget the lineups. Uh, Granderson, of course, leading off by center field. Polanco batting second at second. Uh, Sean Casey, the designated hitter, batting third, cleaning up as Maglia Ordonez in right field. Uh, batting fifth is Carlos Guillen at first base. Uh, up sixth is the left fielder, Marcus Tenz. Betting seventh is Mike Rabello, the catcher. Eighth is Brandon Inge, the third baseman. And Ramon Santiago bats ninth and plays shortstop. And 4-8. Ooh, let me see if that actually scores the runner. I don't think it does. Oh, 4-8. Again, the ground ball to short. Runner on third. Yes, it does. Okay. So, weak grounder to short, but and they'll throw to first to get Polanco, but scoring from third is Granderson, and the Tigers have a 1-0 lead. And that'll bring up Sean Casey, the mayor and former Indian. Second base X, that's not going to be in range for Gomez, which might actually be a good thing. And Gomez is an E6, so a 5 to 12. And a 9 will do, get the job done. Two down. And time out, I'm going to get some more light in this room. All right, and here's Maglio Ordonez. Two on spaces empty, Tigers lead 1-0. And a 6-10 center field X. That will be easily play made for Grady Sizemore, and that will retire the side. We're going to the top of the second. Tigers lead 1-0. And Hafner, Garko, and Peralta do up here in the top of the second. And Hafner on the replay, 236 average, 20 homers, 70 RBIs on the real season, batting 254, 18 homers, 72 RBIs. And here's the pitch from Robertson. 
One eight Robertson being a lefty. If I read them off the righty card the first inning, I apologize, but it didn't make a bit of difference for the Indians. Uh, one to five double chance, but that's a fly ball to center. One down. And here's Ryan Garko. Garko on the season, 267 average, 15 homers, 51 RBIs. On the Royal season, is batting 307 with 14 homers and 46 RBIs. And a 3 5, and Garko goes down on strikes, two down. And now, do up is Johnny Peralta. Peralta on the season. 251 average, 19 homers, 65 RBIs. On the real season, he's batting 274 with 18 homers and 61 RBIs. And a 510 against a righty shortstop X. 18 will be in range. So Robertson retires side again here in the second. And we'll go to the bottom of the second. Tigers lead one nothing. And here's Carlos Guillen. One six. And that's popped up to short. And Peralta's under it, one down. And here's Marcus Thames. Uh, pitcher X not in range for uh, Westbrook. And he is an E0, so he'll make the play. Two down. And here is Mike Rabello, the catcher. Four, six, switch hitter. Eh, it doesn't matter what side. Draws a two out walk. And that'll bring up Brandon Inge. And three, 11, ground ball to third. And QC Blake throws to first to get Inge. That'll retire the side. After two, the Tigers lead one to nothing. And bottom third of the order, do it for the Indians. Gutierrez, Michaels, and Gomez. Gutierrez, 256 average, 10 homers. 27 RBIs on the real season. He was 282 with nine homers and 22 RBIs. Two, six, and wow, this is the holy game here. Swing and a miss, strike three. All those hits in column two, and he found a strikeout. And that'll bring up Jason Michaels. Michaels on the seat on the replay. 221 average, six homers, 30 RBIs. On the replay on the real season it was 266, seven homers and 34 RBIs. And a 510 shortstop. Ooh, that is, let's see. Santiago. Oh, is it two? Yeah, we'll make the play on a five. Two up, two down here in the third. And here's Chris Gomez. 
Uh, Gomez just came to the team on the 15th, so I won't give you his stats. And a 5-7. And that's a base hit for the, the second baseman. And that's 1-18, to 18, and that's a 15. So back to the top of the order, Grady Sizemore. 3-5, and he walks. Runners on first and second. Uh, they will hold all runners. Here's, don't bring it, Casey Blake, got it out his first time up. 6-9. Oh, just missed on the D20. That ball's ripped and off the wall. Scoring from second is Gomez. And Sizemore being held on makes him a 16. With two outs, you add two to give him an 18. And the ball is assumed to hit the center field. So Granderson's a plus one, makes him a 19. Sizemore's only out on a 20, and they will send him. And on a four, he is safe. And the Indians take a two-to-one lead on the two-run double by Casey Blake. That is Casey's 25th double of the season and 56th RBI. And here's Victor Martinez. 1-7, ripped into center field, base hit. Rounding third and heading home is Blake. 3-1 to one Indians. And that is RBI number 96 for Victor Martinez. And now here comes Travis Hafner. Throw out his first time up. Catcher X. Rubello as a 4 and an 18. Moving to second on the pass ball is Martinez, but... On a 3-2 count, Hafner gets under it, pops it into foul territory, and Robello throws the mask off and makes the catch to retire the side. The Indians get three here in the top of the third and lead 3-1 to one going into the bottom of the third. And Santiago, Granderson, and Polanco do up. Here's Santiago. And swing and a miss. Strike three. First strikeout for Westbrook. And up comes Curtis Granderson. Uh, one of the few play, uh, many players to play both for the Mets and the Yankees. And a 3-7 single on a 7. That's a 5. So Granderson, halfway to the cycle now, tripled his first at bat, and then here's a single. Uh, Granderson will be a 15 to start. They will hold him on. Uh, drops down to a 13 for being uh, held. Martinez does not reduce this anymore. So Granderson will... Ooh, they will hold him on. I don't know if I'm going to steal with him with being down two. Yeah, we are. So 1-13, to 13. there goes Granderson, and an 8, and he steals it. So stolen base for Granderson. And here's the pitch to Polanco. 6-8, and that's why you sent him. Single to center field, scoring from second is Granderson. Granderson. 
I don't know, one to one to nine double chance, but a 19 will drive home Granderson. Three to two Indians lead. They will hold on Polanco. Bring up Sean Casey, the mayor. Or 11 against the lefty. Oh, weak ground ball to second. Actually, the, the ground ball right to second. Gomez to Peralta over to Garco. Inning ending double play. Tigers cut the deficit in by one, but and still trail three to two after three. And do up for the Indians, Garco, Peralta, and Gutierrez. And here's the pitch to Garco. Struck out his first time up. And that is the center fielder. Not in range for Granderson. He is an E6. So 6 to 10. And it doesn't matter what that die is. All I need is the two red ones. And that's a 4. And Granderson. Oh, it. Loses it in the whites. Or loses it in the sun, depending on if it was a day or a night game. And at second on an error is Garco. And that will bring up Johnny Peralta. Peralta grounded out his first time up. Or eight draws a walk. First and second. They're not they're not expecting a bunt. The Indians still leading three to two. I'd rather not give up and out with the bottom of the order coming up. So here's Gutierrez. Two eight. And there's a fly ball, center field, and over the head of the center fielder Granderson. Scoring from second is Garco. And Peralta, 12, 13. They'll put the brakes on for Peralta with there being nobody out. And that is RBI number 28 for Franklin Gutierrez. The Indians get the run back to retain a two-run lead. And second and Third for Jason Michaels. And they will bring the infield in, trying not to let this get too far out of hand. Five, eight, second base X. And a 14 for, oh, well, he's an E0. So that'll be a ground ball A. And one of your rare ground ball A chances for any fielder other than a pitcher. Okay, so infield in, ground ball A. Batter is out, runner at third holds. And I guess since they're not... Eh. So the, since the E can't advance, we'll just say that everybody holds. And Michaels grounds out, one down. Here's Carlos Gomez. He started that three-run rally with two outs with a single in the top of the third. Three, six. Fly ball to left. Now, will this be... Do they want to risk with Peralta? Uh... Running, starting at 11, you add 2 to make it 13. Thames does not reduce that by anything. 1 to 13, he will score, will send him the throw to the plate. And he is out on a 17, so. That will retire the side. Uh, but the Indians do get the one run. 
to extend the lead back to two and lead four to two after three and a half. And Westbrook will face Heart of the Order, Ordonez, Guillen, and Tens. Let's see if that fires up the Tiger Faithful, both on the bench and in the stands. Here's Maglio. And that's a foul ball. We'll do it again. Move this back just a little bit. Four eight ground ball to second, or ground ball to short, I should say. And that will retire Ordonez. Ordonez is over two on the day. And brings up Carlos Guillen, popped out to short his last time up. And a five six, another ground ball. Actually, nope, against the lefty. That's a swing and a miss, straight three. Second strikeout for Westbrook. And there's Marcus Thames. Grounded off the back to the mound his last time up. 2 9. And Thames out on strikes. And that will retire the side. We go to the top of the fifth. And the Indians lead 4 to 2. Third time through the order, Sizemore, Blake, and Martinez. Two, nine against the lefty swing and a miss, strike three. And that is Grady Sizemore's uh, 112th strikeout on the season. One down, Casey Blake do up. RBI double his last time up. And he draws a walk. Blake his 38th walk of the season, or the replay, I should say. So one out walk, and they will not hold on Casey Blake. Bring up Victor Martinez, singled his last time up. RBI single. One, six, and that's a two, that's a five. Uh, needed a one for it to be a double, but that single will move Blake the third. And the Tigers will get bullpen action. Uh, Tim Burdak and Joel Zumaya. Actually, just Tim Burdak is loosening in the pen. And they'll bring up Travis Hafner. Uh, they're going to play back to try to get the double play. Actually, no, they're going to bring the infield in. They're going to want to cut off the run at home if they can. Four, seven against the lefty. Doesn't matter. Rips a single into center field. And boy, that feels good for Hafner. Scoring from third is Blake. Moving to third is Martinez. RBI number 71 for Hafner. And that will be it for Robertson. Tim Burdak comes in here with one out here in the uh, top of the fifth. <sighs> To five, single to eight. I remember playing the infield back. I didn't say the infield was going to be in, but at this point, five-two game, you just want to get out. 
Uh, that fails, but only play to fr uh, for Guillen is to throw to Burdap covering. Scoring from third is Martinez. Moving to second is Hafner. And the Indians have taken a 6-2 lead. RBI number 52 for Garko. Two down. And there's Johnny Peralta. Three, six, he draws a walk. And here's Franklin Gutierrez. RBI double his last time up. Three, three, and there are two out, so this will just be a ground ball. Third, and we'll throw to first to retire the side. Indians get two more and lead six to two. And do up for the Tigers here in the bottom of the fifth, bottom third of the order, Rebello, Inge, and Santiago. See if they want to continue with uh, the let Burdak pitch the next inning, but um, Chad Durbin will be loosening in the pen. There's Rebello. 3 9 and swing and a miss. Strike three. Last three have gone down on strikes for Westbrook. He's found something here. There's Brandon Inge. Inch 0 for 1, grounded out. 4 2, ground ball to third. Like the first two down. There's Ramon Santiago. 3 8. And there's a fly ball to center. 1 2 3 inning for the Tigers here in the bottom of the fifth. We go to the sixth. The Indians lead six to two. And Michaels, Gomez, and Sizemore. Michaels, for all you Phillies fans, did get drafted by them and was actually drafted four times, re uh, improved his draft status, but didn't sign when he was a lower pick. Uh, actually, this would be his last season in the uh, majors, I believe, too. So, mainly used as a uh, left-handed uh, for platoon. Started with David DeLucci, now with Kenny Lofton. So, here's Jason Michaels. 4-9, and... Oh, that's a hit against a righty. That's a single, so... Michaels has joined the hit parade. And everybody has at least reached base once in this game. Not everybody's gotten a hit, but they've reached base. Yep. And here's Chris Gomez. Gomez, journeyman utility infielder. Uh, Michael's not being held on. Four, five. And Burdak gets Gomez on, out on strikes. One out. Grady Sizemore walked and scored in the third inning. Three, nine. And against the lefty, it's cut off by the right fielder, Ordonez. But moving to third is Michaels. And Sizemore gets his first hit of the day. And here's Casey Blake, and Chad Durbin will be ready if needed. And here's Casey Blake. 3-7. 
And, ooh, that's a 1-5 to five against a lefty. 11 will not pass, so line drive to the second baseman, Polanco, two down. And brings up Victor Martinez, two singles and three at-bats. By five. And because that's a right-handed hitter, ripped into the gap. Scoring from third is Michaels. Ooh, size more. We weren't say we were holding him on. So that makes him 18-20. I essentially he's Uh, can only be out on a 20, and we'll send him. On a 5, he is safe. Two-run double for Victor Martinez. Gives him three RBIs on the night. And that will be it for Burdak. Although, I may let him... Actually... Nah, they'll... I'm going to let him try to pitch to Hafner. Hafner will be his last. Actually, no, it won't. Nope. We're going to pull him. And, oops, not Hafner. Hafner stays in the game. Uh, Chad Durbin, they're going to look for some length here in this game. Now down 8-2. Uh, to two. So Chad Durbin will come into the game. Try to eat up as many innings as humanly possible. Here's Travis Hafner. Of course, he's born in North Dakota. Or not exactly your baseball hotbed. Only playing a couple months out of the year. Uh, nickname was Pronk, which is a uh, portmanteau of Project and Donkey. Uh, and here's the pitch from Hafner to from Durbin. 6-4. Shortstop, 15 will be fine for Santiago. Retires aside, Indians get two more. And lead, 8-2. to two. And Westbrook now starting his third time through the order in the bottom of the sixth. As Granderson, Polanco, and Casey. Granderson and Polanco have gotten all three hits today. Um, Granderson tripled in the first and singled in the third. Three, four, won't get a hit here. Jammed him, popped him up, foul territory, first base side. And Garko makes the catch to retire. Uh, Granderson, one out. And here's Palacito Polanco. Four eleven ground ball to third. Blake fires the first two down. And here's Sean Casey. Oh for two, two ground outs, one into a double play. And four seven one to eight single. That's a one to ten single. That's a base hit. That snaps a streak of nine in a row retired. And yes, this is Westbrook's point of weakness, so that's one against his point. He gets three. And that brings up Maglio Ordonez. Would have liked to have faced him with the bases empty, but here's the pitch to Ordonez. And it won't matter, ground ball to short, and we'll say Peralta goes the short way to get Casey to retire the side. We go to the top of the seventh. And the Indians lead 8-2. to two. And Chad Durbin, will con he got the final out in the sixth inning, and we'll uh, continue on to, to the seventh. And Garko 
State went to Wichita State for college. Please fact check me on all my facts. I am sure I might be wrong on a few things, but if not, let me know for sure. I'm just doing this off the top of my head. And a 1-2 popped them up. Polanco camps under it and makes the catch. One down. Here's Johnny Peralta, later become a member of the Tigers and the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. One six. And that's against a righty. So that's takes a couple hops up against the wall and in the second with a double and getting his first hit of the game is Johnny Peralta. That's Peralta's only 13th double of the season. Hmm. Okay, here's Franklin Gutierrez doubled himself in the fourth inning, scoring Ryan Garko. 4-9. And that ball is hit high and deep to left field. Going back to the warning track to the wall is Thames, and it's out of here. And the Indians keep piling on. They might have to pull, might have to call off the dogs here pretty soon. Two run home run for Gutierrez. Home run number 11 and RBI number 30. As he's driven three today. And the Indians have put a 10 spot on the board. Leading 10 to 2. And Jason Michaels now up. Still one out. Six three. Oh, that's not going to be in range for the right fielder or Donez. Nope. He is an E one, so he's almost a almost a sure to make the catch. Yeah, and he needed that because. Four is in gonna be an out for Michaels. Here's Chris Gomez. Gomez one for three with a single. Three seven and Durbin gets Gomez on strikes. Tire the side. Indians get two more. And have scored in every inning since the third. And lead ten to two. Let's see if maybe we want to start getting some reserves in the game. Uh, maybe. All right, so Westbrook will start the seventh. Does have one point against this point of weakness. Uh, it'd be Carl Skian, then we're going to have Cameron Mabin. Young player that the Tigers really like. He'll pinch hit for Marcus Thames. And then Mike Rebello. All right. And here's the pitch to Guillen. 310. And there's a fly ball to left. And Michaels retires. Guillen, one down, and here's Cameron Mabin to pinch hit for uh, Thames. Mabin, the uh, future Florida Marlin among many other teams, I believe is also a San Diego Padre. Maven six nine and that decision pays off. Pinch hit single for Maven. And here's Rebello. 
walked and struck out in two appearances. Uh, we will we will hold on Maben. He is an eight uh, beast stealer. Yeah. Even up ten to two. If this was real advanced, I probably wouldn't hold him on to try to save the double play. Right, here's Rebello. Five eleven switch hitter betting left handed singles to center. And Thames being held on. Or sorry, not Thames. Maven makes him a 16. And they're just going to hold up playing station to station here. Actually, no, no, no. Yeah, they'll do that. All right. Brandon Inge. And maybe we'll get Rafael Perez loosening in the pen. Well, only one of two pitchers that has not overused their innings pitched so far to the season. All right. So because this is stretched over two innings, you can extend his point of weakness to four, or to four either hits or walks. Here's Inge, one down, runner on first and second. Two, 11, fly ball to left. Two down, and here's Ramon Santiago. Six, five, and switch hitter betting left-handed. Ground ball to second, and Westbrook gets out of it to retire the side. And I think that'll be it for Westbrook. Face 27 batters through seven. It's six over the minimum, but he is running out of gas here. And Durbin will at least come out for his, well, pitch, uh, he's pitched an inning and a third. And we'll get Gritty Sizemore. Then... One and second timeout. And we'll have a pinch hitter for Casey Blake. We'll have Josh Barfield hit, and then we'll move uh, Gomez from second to third. And then we'll have uh, Victor Martinez do up. All right, so here's Grady Sizemore. Indians lead 10 to 2 after 7. So we're in the top of the eighth. Sizemore, of course. Would not be the same after his knee injury that he had. By five. And he draws a walk. Second walk to Sizemore. And uh, Joel Zumaya loosening in the pen. He allows, we'll almost say if he allows another base runner, we'll send him in. All right, and Casey Blake being called back for a pinch hitter for Josh Barfield. He will stay in the game and play uh, second base. And then Chris Gomez will be moving from from second to third, he's actually a little bit better range as a uh, third baseman. He's a three range. All right. And we'll pull up Josh Barfield's stats. Barfield on the season, 259 average. Two homers, 27 RBIs. And on the season, Barfield was uh, hitting 243 with three homers and 49 RBIs. All right, so here's Barfield to hit for Blake. Blake went uh, one for three, a double and a walk.
six, seven, second base X, 12 will not be in range for Polanco, but it doesn't matter whether it's in range or well, it would matter if it's in range. But out of range, that's a four, six, three double play. Funny how the X chart does not have an E0 for a second base, but it's an automatic ground ball A. So Barfield grounds into the double play. Two outs, nobody on. And here's Victor Martinez. Two singles and a double. And a 5-7 switch hitter batting left-handed. Fly ball to center. And that'll retire the side. So Durbin has at least only held the Indians to two runs in two and a third innings, and he will be replaced by Zumaya in the ninth. So at this point, it doesn't really matter. Or at least I hope it doesn't. Uh, Westbrook will be pulled. And he will bring in Rafael Perez. Uh, Perez has not had a good last uh, couple of outings. Uh, Perez in his last few outings has, a, uh, we'll say the last six outings, has a lot of five earned runs in looks like five and a third innings pitched. His raised his ERA to 3.05. But we'll give him a chance here. Uh, Perez on the replay is 0-1 in 38 and a third innings pitched, 13 earned runs, uh, 10 walks, 45 strikeouts, 0-1 record, 3.05 ERA. And on the real season, he had 44 innings pitched, 9 earned runs, allowed 11 walks, 46 strikeouts, and a 1.84 ERA. And here's the pitch to... Granderson from Perez. Westbrook went seven innings. Six two. Fly ball to left. Oh boy. Oh, Michaels is a three. Good. Thirteen should be in range. No. But Michaels is an E2, so. Oh, six two left field. Yep. E2, Michaels needs a 4 to 10. Or a 12. <laughs> get that, see if I can't get that in range here. Right there. Yep, E2, 4 to 10 or 12. And nice diving, nice sliding catch by Michaels. Retire Granderson. And one down. And up comes Placido Polanco. One for three with a single. And five, six against the righty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And up comes Sean Casey. With two down. Three, six against the lefty. That's a one to 16 double chance. And there's a double. All right, here's Megaliordonias. Three, seven, single on a one. There's a ground out to short, and that will retire the side. One up double does no damage, and we go to the ninth. I'll bring in Zumaya to try to finish this off. They're going to let maybe let Perez finish off the bottom of the ninth. There's Sumaya. And he'll face Hafner, Garco, and Peralta. And 
And 5-9 against the lefty gets Hafner on strikes. One down. There's Ryan Garko. Garko reached on an error. Three ten against the righty ground ball to second. Polanco throws the first two down. And here's Johnny Peralta. Two walks and a double in four at bats. Six two against the righty pitcher X. Seven not in range, but he is an E zero, so that's an automatic out. And that'll retire the side. We go to the bottom of the ninth, and the Tigers will need a ninth inning miracle down 10 to 2. And Perez will stay out and pitch a second inning. He had a 1 2 3. Actually, no, he didn't. He had a, gave up a double. And he will face switch hitter again. Um, then Mabin and. Robello. And here's the pitch to Guillen. Get the card all the way in there. Five, seven, and switch hitter batting right-handed. Oh, Sizemore dives and makes the catch. One to three triple chance, and that's a four, and... Risky play, even up 10-2, to 2, but Sizemore's still going all out. And here's Cameron Mabin, one down. 2-8, and that's fly ball to right. Two down, and last chance for the Tigers is Mike Rebello. Uh, one for two with a single and a walk and a strikeout. 3-5, and there's a base hit for Rebello. so he has two hits on the day. And here's Brandon Inge, two down, bottom of the ninth, Tigers trailing 10-2, 6-6, six, six. and there's a fly ball, and Sizemore will track it down. And that's your ball game. Final score from Comerica Park. And the Indians win this one 10 to 2. Be right back with the box score. And time out live. Plug in the charger. All right, final line score here in Detroit. The Indians 10 runs. 11 hits, no errors. Tigers, two runs, eight hits, one error. Uh, Jake Westbrook will be your winning pitcher. He will move to seven and six on the season. He went uh, seven innings to get the win. And Robertson will get the loss. Oops, will get the loss. Uh, Robertson went four and a third in went four innings. Four and third, yeah, four and a third innings uh, allowed six runs, but five of them earned because the Garco run in the fourth would be unearned. So the Indians moved to or improved to fifty nine and sixty seven on the season. The Tigers moved to fifty eight and sixty nine. All right, and only two games on the board that affect any American League races. Uh, the Twins will start a series started a series against the Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Booth Bonzer and Steve Traxel uh, are your pitchers, and the Orioles, the Twins need greater than a one six four to take this one. Red, blue, and green is how we're reading this. And easily we'll win that one. So the Twins will improve to 64 and 63. 
and that is nine. Sorry, I'm gonna get the Indian score here. So four four game difference still uh, after the after the and the Tigers will be in back of them. All right, and then the other game worth noting, although the Red Sox have the day off, although they will play a doubleheader on the next day in Chicago, but the Blue Jays start a series in Anaheim. The Red Sox are two and a half up on the uh, Blue Jays, and for that game, it is Jesse Litch for the Blue Jays and Irvin Santana for the Angels. The Blue Jays need greater than a 4-2-3 to cut the deficit to two games. And they will, 5-5-1. Five, five, so, wow. Come up good for the uh, Blue Jays so far this season. So the Blue Jays will improve to 75 and 52 and only trail by the Red Sox by two games in the division. All right, everybody. Uh, thank you for sticking with me. I know this is one of my longer games when I do the comparison videos, but I think it's well served. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. I'd like to thank Greg Jones, my newest subscriber. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon, or hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a good night, everybody.